In the first part of how to convert your simple materials to nanite, we learn how to turn on tessellation and create a material with displacement enabled. But we were not getting the output we expected even after applying the material. Welcome to part 2 of how to convert your simple materials to nanite. Right click on the sphere and hit the edit mesh button and enable the nanite support. Don't forget to save it. And boom, now you'll be able to see the difference between two mesh. But here are some pro tips. First we'll be tiling. Go to the material editor and add X chord node. Connect it with the UVs channel of all the texture samples and tweak the settings from the details panel according to your needs. If you want more height to your texture, click on the main material node in the material editor and search for displacement. Change the magnitude according to your need and there you go. And that's how you use nanite tessellation for realistic textures. Follow for more. This is quick on real hacks with WhatsApp.